Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the AWS Lambda series. In this video, we're going to continue with the Lambda function that I wrote in the previous video, and I'm going to show you how you can connect it up to API Gateway. Before we do that, let's just go over what API Gateway is. Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and secure APIs at any scale. APIs act as the entry point for applications to access data, business logic, or functionality from your backend services. API Gateway supports containerized and serverless workloads, as well as web applications. If you want to know more about the API Gateway, just check the link in the description for my video series on API Gateway. With that, let's log into the AWS console. There are basically two ways you can connect a Lambda function to AWS API Gateway. The first way you can connect the Lambda function to API Gateway is through the Lambda console. The second way is through the API Gateway console. In this video, I'm going to connect through the Lambda console. So just open up Lambda and look for calc, which is the function that we created in the last video. As you can see, I only have one function called calc. Select it. Once it opens, expand designer if it's collapsed and then click on add trigger. In my instance, designer is collapsed, so I just expand it and then I click on add trigger. A trigger configuration will pop up and in the drop down we're going to select API Gateway. Different triggers have different setups. For example, here you can see that we need to create or pick an existing API. If you were to change the trigger to something else, say Alexa Skills Kit, it will give you different configuration options. Let me just select Alexa Skills Kit here. Now let's just go back to API Gateway as the trigger. I'm going to leave create a new API selected. If I already have an API, I'll just click on the drop down and then select it here. As you can see, I don't have an API, so I'll just leave create a new API selected. On the template, we're going to select the REST API template. And then we're going to scroll down to security. We're going to use the drop down under security to configure the security mechanism of the API endpoint. So we're going to select open because we want the API to be open to everyone. The next thing that we need to do is to expand additional settings as this is where we will set up the API name as well as the deployment stage. AWS gives us a name recommendation. For instance, here it says Calc API. I'm going to leave it like that. If you want to change it, it's fine. You can change it here. Under the deployment stage, I'm going to leave default. A stage is used to manage and optimize a particular deployment. For instance, we could have created a dev stage here since we are still developing the API and then we'll create a prod stage to deploy our API when we're happy with it. Let's leave everything as it is and click add, not this one, but this one to create the API and add it to the Lambda. It takes a few seconds and you should see a confirmation on the Lambda console if everything went well. So here we can see that the trigger calc API was successfully added to the function calc. The function is now receiving events from the trigger. From here, you can scroll down to the bottom to see more details about the API Gateway. You can expand here to see detailed information about the API Gateway. For example, we can see the API endpoint, we can see the API name, as well as the stage, among other things. Now let's run the endpoint using our browser. To run it, I just click on the link here and it will open up in a new tab. As you can see, it gave me a message, internal server error. This is because we are using API Gateway in Lambda proxy mode. In this mode, the response or return object in the Lambda must have status code and body attributes. You could also add the headers attributes. The body's value must be a string. And if you want to return an object in the body, you will have to turn it into a JSON string. So we have to go back to our Lambda and change the return code to the following. Instead of just returning this out, we're going to return a JSON object with status code. And it will be 200, okay. I need to give uh, status code codes. And then body. The body is the one that returns the result. Save. And then if we go back to our API gateway and run the link again, we now get the result 30. That's all for this video. 
In this video, I showed you how you can add an API gateway trigger to a Lambda function. In the next video, I'll show you how you can move data through API gateway to your Lambda function. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.